Robert Erskine Childers, you will be held in Wicklow Jail for one night. Tomorrow morning, you will be brought to Dublin for execution for possession of a firearm. Erskine Childers was probably one of the most famous people oh, yes. who was held here. Yes, he was. He was held overnight before he was sent to Dublin for execution. And I think it must have been horrible for him what happened to him in the end. This is it for me. Tomorrow I am to be sent to Dublin for execution. Can you believe that I, Robert Erskine Childers, have been arrested and incarcerated in this jail? I who have done more than most to help the people of this country. Yes, I was born in England. Yes, I was once a supporter of the British Crown. But all that I have done for England is now to be ignored, as I have become a believer in Home Rule, and believe that the Irish people can govern itself, free of the iron-fisted grip of the British Crown. A man who had been very much fighting uh, for Irish freedom alongside the like of Michael Collins, and he had actually received uh, the revolver that he was found with from Michael Collins in Glendalough House and he was brought here and held here before being brought to Beggar's Bush in Dublin where he was tried and executed. The Free State Forces arrested me in Glendalough House in possession of a pistol. For this, I am to be sentenced to death. That bloody Englishman they call me. Even though it was I who was part of the Irish delegation opposed the signing of the Anglo-Irish Treaty. I have asked my 16-year-old son, Erskine, to seek out and shake the hands of every man who signs my death warrant, as I will with my executioners on that day. That boy is going to be a powerful man someday. Mark my words. You think about people who, through circumstances and often beyond their control, ended up here in prison.